Teofimo Lopez versus Devin Haney is reportedly, now we're talking to potentially, take place next for Teofimo's WBO Super Lightweight World Title, according to Forbes. Those are a whole bunch of indefinitives, which translates to me, to a whole bunch of bullshit, 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 bullshit. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm bullshit. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxer Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. As you've seen that report that was announced, you know, on Twitter for the potential fight between <laughs> Devin Haney and Teofimo Lopez, you know, like I said, I don't know, man. The verb is that they use to me. That's a whole lot of probably shoulda, coulda, maybe the fight could happen. You know what I'm saying? I think that's just a, a, whole, a whole lot of uh, hoping, you know, reportedly that it could supposedly happen next year. So let's talk about it, right? You know, we already talked talked about this a minute ago you know that according to Devin Haney uh him him his team and Big Turk offered Teofimo Lopez the fight for Devin Haney's comeback fight you know this happened a little while ago and I haven't really seen Teofimo deny it too hard you know he hasn't really denied it too passionately so I do believe that there's some truth to that and you know he's famously or infamously going through some litigation with his promoter top rank and bob arum you know so that could partially be why they were it wasn't entertained or turned down but i think it was more so that teofimo isn't really interested in fighting guys that are his weight you notice he hasn't called out liam paro he's a champion at 140 he hasn't called out jose rayo valenzuela he's a champion at 140 and they have some sparring history because everybody cares about sparring right you know and also he hasn't called out alberto puelo another champion at 140 and devin haney who's a champion at recess he reportedly denied that you know so he turned that down he's been calling out guys who are occupied that aren't even in his division like you know first he said he wanted to fight brian norman jr yeah and he became a super champion and he didn't you know go forward with that he's been calling out terrence bud crawford who's not at 140 140 or 147 he's at 154 yeah and he's also called out javante tank davis when he was occupied with lamont roach or de la santos or lomachenko or whoever he is or ain't fighting right <laughs> you know what i'm saying so you know i don't really believe that this fight is going to happen that's why i'm in a little bit of doubt but i'm hoping that it could because this will be a good fight you know what i'm saying now on Devin haney's side you know Devin haney coming off of that you know that brutalizing matchup with ryan garcia after Ryan Garcia was found with PEDs in the system, yet he cheated. We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. That's all. You know, so that's never a good look, right? But still, even with that, he got punched on very hard. You know, <laughs> you know, he got he got he got beat from pillar to post throughout the duration of that fight. And so when you're doing that, or when, when you undergo that, you know, um, that leads for some questions to be answered you know you got to answer the call to see if you still have it and you never know how a fighter will bounce back after a devastating you know matchup like that you know and uh so i think it would behoove him to have a tune-up fight so i think this is ill-advised to fight somebody at the caliber of teofimo because speaking of teofimo right we saw when teofimo had a terrible fight against jermaine ortiz that he won and i think that he was the right person to win because in my opinion jermaine ortiz was trying to finesse the boxing game by running around all day and not engaging so i think the right person won but it was an ugly victory for teofimo right so what did he do after that even though he won he got a tune-up and a bounce back and a rebound fight against steve claggett which ended up being more than he anticipated right he should have put him away but you know he struggled with, with, with steve claggett but nevertheless the intention was for steve claggett to be a tune-up fight you know a bounce back fight so my point is that if you could get a comeback fight as a tune-up coming off of a victory you know same with Shakur Stevenson when he had an ugly uh, matchup against Edward De Los Santos that he won clearly you know he had a bounce back fight against a lesser known opponent Artem Harty Union so usually when you have a shaky performance or when you lose you typically get a tune-up fight so I would advise Devin Haney if I was on the team which I'm not you know I would advise him to get a tune-up fight and not jump back into it with another champion but hey if he wants to do it I think this is great for boxing and I think that's a testament to you know his confidence in himself and and and, and and his uh his um ability to still have his conviction to you know pursue greatness and still be on top so i think this is a this is a great move for him we have to applaud him if this fight gets 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 um you know gets situated reportedly supposedly maybe could be situated <laughs> potentially could happen uh next year i think that'd be good you know what i'm saying for, for teofimo and devin haney this would be a good matchup and the winner would, would definitely raise their profile up you know what i'm saying and and both of their profiles are already raised you know but yeah I, i'm gonna be honest though in my personal opinion i don't think this fight happens i'm not gonna hold my breath i'm not gonna say it's 
definitively not going to happen. I'm definitively going to say that I'm not sure if it's going to happen because that's exactly what the report says too. So I think that this fight, if it did happen, to me, in my opinion, I think it's a 50-50 fight. You know, I think that um, Devin Haney has a lot of questions to answer coming off of the situation he just came off of. And I think Teofimo has to answer some questions as well uh, going with the struggles against Steve Claggett and, and Jermaine Ortiz. But I think the, I think if you're going to lean towards anybody at this very moment, I think that you would have to lean towards Teofimo slightly just because of his activity alone you know what i'm saying with them both being top fighters in, the, in their division you know teofima has been more active and with devin haney i think that uh you know uh skill wise he's slightly more skilled but because he's coming off of a long layoff you know it will be a pretty long layoff by next year potentially even a year because they didn't add any further specificity as far as the date venue or location so you have to assume that he's probably gonna be out a year and the fact that last time he was we saw him he was face down ass up you know what i'm saying so no did he i think he has a lot more questions to answer than teofima so I think it's a 50-50 fight, but if I was going to lean towards somebody, it would be towards Teofimo. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Do you think the fight's going to happen? And if it happens, who you who do you favor? You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to smash that like button. But most importantly, remember with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.